Hello YouTube! Welcome to part 3 of my laser cutter build lock series. In part 2, I cut and mounted the brackets for connecting the laser bed and lead screws together and then tested by moving the laser bed up and down, which was pretty successful. Today I'm going to complete the water cooling loop for the laser tube. Let's get started! Okay, so after my first and very optimistic attempt was a complete failure and my second attempt with Peltier elements also failed, I wanted to make sure the third attempt would be the final one. I started by measuring where I wanted the reservoirs and cut a 3mm MDF plate to size. Then pre-drilled some holes into the plate for where it would mount to the machine and started to aligning the reservoirs to the plate using some profiles to ensure both reservoirs were true to one another. To make it look a little bit better, I covered the plate with some black vinyl, used a sharp pin to make all the holes visible on the vinyl and cleaned it up with a knife so the screws would fit through without pulling off the vinyl. I then put in the screws, fastened the brackets, slid in the reservoirs and finally mounted the whole plate into the machine, which looked pretty good. Next up was the two 240mm radiators and the four very powerful delta fans from China. So probably not the real deal, but they are really powerful and loud. Next I cut some aluminum pieces in order to get everything assembled together and marked and drilled some holes in order to mount the radiators to the machine's center pillar right next to the reservoirs. For the water pump I drilled and fastened an angle iron to some vibration dampening bolts right below the reservoirs and fastened the pump with some zip ties. Then started the time consuming part of putting in the tubing. As an extra precaution I added a visual flow meter at the outlet of the laser tube so I could see the flow when standing in front of the machine. And this is the overall layout of the water cooling. Pretty straightforward, the water will be sucked from the reservoirs into the pump and then into the radiators where it gets cooled and go into the inlet of the laser tube. The heated water will then exit the outlet of the laser tube and enter the reservoirs starting all over again. As I wasn't 100% sure this would be enough, I added two valves at the entrance of the reservoirs where I could either attach a bigger reservoir or by lengthening the tube into an ice bucket or just a bucket with some cold water. Now with everything hooked up I started filling it up with distilled water and every so often starting the pump to get the water circulated. When there was enough, I let it run while filling, getting all the air out of the system. And that actually took a while. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, I'm not so happy about it. These two water reservoirs are not really on the same height. And that's because this is a closed loop. This is going fr coming from the laser and then going to the laser. Whereas this one is uh, the refill hose. My friends say that it's not that big of a deal, but I, I think aesthetically it would look nicer if they were on the same level. But what I, what I added after I put water inside, I added this Mayhem's 5mm blue coloring. Uh, blue coloring. And what I, what I noticed is when it came down this tube, it actually stayed here for a good while before it actually mixed up. So it was the color coloring that was actually dropping down and then after a long while it mixed with the water a little bit so I noticed this water all all of this water all the way from down here to up here is almost completely still and I want it I want all of the water to be mixed up with the with the system as much as possible I thought about it and if I connect this top to this top so some of the water will flow inside this one and this one at the same time but also have a refill on top that would make a huge difference and that means some of this water will also flow down and actually get mixed in the water loop better. But that meant actually ordering some more stuff. I ordered the parts and with the power of editing and uh, waiting for a long time as it's from China, I got the parts now. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna empty the whole reservoir, I'm gonna add this to the water loop so you can see what I mean and then test it out and hopefully it will function as I want. So I drained it, added the fittings and connected it all together. Once again I added water and some blue mayhem coloring and let it run until it was all settled. And that seemed to do the trick. 
All in all, it turned out really nice. I added the coloring just to make the liquid in the tube more visible and also because it looks pretty cool. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this part here. So be sure to check out the next part where I'll be adding an Arduino and a Nexion touchscreen display to add some control to the water cooling and some other stuff. And of course, some information on how this water cooling actually performs and looks like after running for a while. Any questions? Don't hesitate to use that comment section below. Bye!